Testament testimony was supposed to begin today in the Michael Atkinson case. He was charged with a deadly hit and run that happened more than a decade ago. But things took a dramatic turn this afternoon when the trial was set to begin. Iran Hammy joins us live from the Nueces County Courthouse. Iran, what happened? Yeah, it was a tear filled courtroom this afternoon. Like you said, we were expecting to go into a trial. Instead, a deal was reached and we ended up hearing victim impact statements from the victim's family, and that is Kimberly and Cinia. Here's what happened with Michael Atkinson. He agreed to plead guilty to the charge of accident involving serious bodily injury or death. His 10 year sentence has been suspended and instead he has a host of probation terms he must accomplish. Those involve entering an intensive inpatient substance abuse program, drug offender education program, a felony victim impact panel and much more. I spoke with Kimberly's mother Mary after the hearing and she tells me she is excited this has come to a close never going to be closure because the person's not there with you but for me it's like we finally i get to see his face i got to see the person and it's just like it's time to start healing Atkinson also spoke at the hearing to give some more clarity on what happened the night Kimberly died. Now coming up on Chris 6 News at 6 and 10, I'm going to have much more from the courtroom, including you will be able to hear from Atkinson himself. Reporting live outside the courthouse, Aaron Hammy, Chris 6 News.